calling all new roller skaters. This is a public health announcement. Are you struggling staying up on roller skates because your back hurts and you get cramps all the time? Is this how you want to feel on roller skates? In this video, I will show you how to skate safely and comfortably. Start it up. I am Carl Luna, AKA Snooky from Madam Quad. How do you stay safe on roller skates? Do you have any tips or hacks that you want to share? Don't keep them golden nuggets to yourself. Sharing is caring. Comment below and let us know. But not now, silly. Wait till the end of the video. Let's get rolling. First things first, know thy body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Posture is a very important step in the beginning and the beginning to a very important step. The way you carry your body changes how and where your weight is distributed, affecting the way you move. So it's very important to always pay attention to your posture when skating. Meet Milani. She will come and help us demonstrate today. Your eyes should be scanning around all the time, getting as much information as possible. The faster you skate, the quicker you have to react. So keep your chin parallel to the ground and look as far as possible and train yourself out of staring at your feet. Squeeze your back muscles, drop your shoulders, keep your chest up. Oh, sorry, just slapped myself. But keep your chest up, be proud. This, your core and hips is where the center or your majority of your body mass lies driving or stopping your movement. That's why we want to tuck our hips in and learn to relax and flex those core muscles as you move. We want big energy coming from here. We don't want sexy back or bad back because both of them will make you fall. Your knees are like pumps. They need to move up and down to absorb or apply pressure. Don't lock your knees, is what my hockey teacher, Ms. Williams, used to say. And she would be right, because dead straight legs will shift your weight all the way to the edge of your heel, making it easier for your skates to slip out, making you fall. And remember, your feet should not be clenching the entire time, because you'll get cramped and it just won't be comfortable. Pro tip, an exercise to help you practice good posture. Stand with your two inner back wheels in contact with your feet completely relaxed. Practice bending your knees while keeping contact at all times with those two back wheels. Repeat and increase the distance between your wheels until you can stand with your feet apart comfortably and without failing. Second, know your role. Feel your role, control your role. Don't let your role control you. Unlike walking, gliding means we drag, push and pull our feet as we move. A lot of new skaters tend to flex their ankle and use their calves to drive them forward. This makes it hard for new skaters to get a grip literally and they will start panic stepping. To practice, angle your toes out like this and adjust the angle according to what feels comfortable to you. Start by pumping your knees and as you bend, you load 80 to 90% of your weight on top of that one skate at a 45 degree angle. Once you've committed your weight to your supporting leg, lift your free leg at the hip, keeping your wheels level and replace in front and repeat. Remember what we talked about your posture. Channel a ballroom dancer and drag your core and your hips diagonally across to the left and then to the right. Lastly, but not the least important, know your surfaces. Feel the vibrations, feel the floor. Every sensation is a clue. Train your body to react to imbalance quickly by practicing this recovery position. Get to know her well, because she's your best friend. Get into this recovery position whenever you feel the slightest bit of imbalance or unsafe, and then restart slowly. Thank you for watching this video. If there's anything you don't understand, comment below. We read them. 
actually. We also love subscribers and more comments. So if you want our love, do it. Get on it. That's how you do it. Do it. <laughs>